I would like to show you how to use ASF's baseline tool. Our tool is now directly integrated into Vertex. All the functionality you're used to coupled with a modern Vertex interface and features. The baseline tool helps you identify and select image pairs that are appropriate for generating SAR interferometry or INSAR by visualizing spatial and temporal baseline information. With our tool you can use the download queue, easily link to baseline search results directly, and we have an improved layout and visualization of stacks. With that said, let's get to it. Let's just do a search. Pull Vertex up, don't change anything, just do a search. And here it's done geographic search, and the scenes are returned, usually in the order of most frequently ingested. The newest data is at the top. And so here you see different uh, uh, scenes and in the middle we give you the metadata information and links. Not all of them can be used with baseline uh, the tool. However ones that are and for example the second one you see the baseline tool as an option here. Go ahead and click that and we're going to take that scene use it as the reference point and find other scenes that can be used with it for interferometry. Since it is a scene that was very recently introduced into the system, all of the other scenes fall behind it. They came earlier in history. And you can see the offset. This was 66 days ago versus the current scene that was referenced. And it's 53 meters offset from it. And you can click on these and we will sort the list and bring that. And it's usually around the second one in the list. This was what, 53 and 66? Yep, 53, 66. So you can come here and add that to your download queue. Now when you move away from it, you see it's in blue. That indicates it's in your download queue. And you can select which scenes you wish to work with and manipulate them and add them to the queue in that way. Now where are these scenes? I just did a random search. You can click the zoom button and we're going to zoom you to those scenes. And you see that there's only a few rectangles here that you can visually see on the screen. It's because their distance is so close to each other that visually you're not seeing them as separate rectangles. They actually are there and if you click around it's going to go ahead and try to select different ones as being the scene selected. But it's not easily manipulating what you want because they're so close you can't see the visual difference in these rectangles. Now with that said, maybe you wanted a scene more towards the center. This scene, let's say, that you want that to be the reference point. You can click the set as reference and we're going to change all the offsets with that as the reference scene that you might be interested in. Another way to do a baseline search is start with the default screen of Vertex, just load it up, and go ahead and select baseline search instead of geographic search. If you have a reference scene in mind, you can go ahead and enter that scene in hit uh, the search button. We're going to find all of the scenes that could be potentially used in inter interferometry with that scene that you entered and it will set it as the reference point. So here you are seeing that search result. So there are two ways to get to the baseline tool either through another search where we can click on the link to get to the baseline tool or just entering the baseline tool directly.